Hi guys! In today's video, I am going to show you how I make a quilted pattern on a cake. Okay, so for this project, we need a cake covered in fondant, a soft measuring tape, a quilting tool. These are, are most of them will work, but this specific one is my favorite and I find it easier to work with. We also need our super fancy quilting tool, which this is the part, I'm gonna show you how to do this, it's so easy. I made this one out of the back of a printing paper. Uh, you can use any kind of thick paper. I have here a piece of scrapbook paper, which is what I'm going to use, an X-Acto knife, and a triangle ruler, and that's what we need. So let's do this. All right, so for the triangle ruler, what we need is to measure out our angle which is going to be a 45 degree angle and that's it this is my quilting tool i'm actually going to use both sides one for that side and this one for the other side. All right, this is for me the hardest part of the quilting a cake, but I'm gonna show you guys how I go about it. I use a measuring tape that has centimeters because I find it easier to work with smaller numbers or you'll see measuring smaller numbers. All right, so this cake measures exactly 50.5 centimeters or just almost 20 inches but 50.5 centimeters and I want my quilt thing pattern each one to be about an inch and three quarters give or take so that means it's about four centimeters here I am going to make my life so much easier by making another little tool which is going to be this little tool so what I did here is that I measured exactly 4.2 centimeters. I cut it with a scissor and now I have my measuring tool. So, time to measure. Okay, that's it. And it ends up measuring exactly at the other spot. Now, now I take my super fancy quilting tool. I align it to one of the marks I've made, wrapping the other side. All right, now the other side. Now I have my other piece of paper and I'm going to work on the other side. Okay, that's it, and now I'm going to add some tiny little pearls and I am done. So I'm gonna grab my little ball tool and I'm going to get a little bit of edible glue. I have all my pearls ready and I will dab and I will dab and I'm making little indentations with glue so that I will have perfect spots for my little pearls. And I'm gonna do this all over the cake. All right, that is it. That's how I do the quilted pattern. I have tried impression mats before and things like that, but it never worked out perfectly because when no cake is the same exact size. So unless you measure it, then at the end where you're meeting two ends, then sometimes you have bigger squares or smaller squares and it ends up being a mess on the back. So this way I have a 360 degrees of perfection.
you guys enjoy. I hope you guys give it a try. I find quilting to be not the easiest thing, but once you get over the math and you do it right, then it should be pretty pain-free. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the thumbs up and I will see you guys again next week. Mm -hmm.